Hi, welcome to Aurora Math. Today I'm doing a series of videos on exponential equations. Okay, a manufacturer of a light emitting diode, LED lights, has tested its lights and found that the percent chance P that a light will fail after T hours of use has a half-life of 60,000 hours. Find a model for the situation if you start with 100%. Okay, so P of T, we start with 100, that's what that, start with 100%. Half-life is 0.5, and half-life of 60,000 hours means if we want this to be an hourly situation, that means we take the T and divide by the 60,000. All right, it's a big number. What is the percent chance that one of the company's LED lights will fail after 45 thousand hours, round to one decimal place. Okay, so P of 45,000 equals 100 times 0 0.5 to the 45,000 divided by 60,000, get rid of the extra zeros. This is going to equal 59.5%. Okay. How many hours will it take for the percent chance for the LED light to fail to reach 75% round to three decimal places? Okay, so we want 100 times 0 0.5 to the T over 60,000. 100 times 0 0.5 to the T over 60,000 to equal 75. Or, in other words, 0 0.5 to the t over 60,000 to equal 0 0.75, if we want the percent to be a decimal. When the variable is in the exponent position, we take the log of both sides. That allows us to bring the variable down so that we have t divided by 60,000. log of 0 0.5 equals log of 0 0.75. So that T over 60,000 equals log of 0 0.75 divided by log of 0 0.5 when I divide both sides by the log of 0 0.5. So T over 60,000 equals 0 0.415. Then I multiply both sides by the 60,000. Whew, and T equals, so it's 24902.24996. I read all that out because it says round to three decimal places. Well, that nine is gonna take the 249 and make a 250. So it's going to become, 24902.250. And you are going to write the 250 because you are told to round to three decimal places, hours, and label. Okay, I hope you've enjoyed this video. Please subscribe to my YouTube channel, like my Facebook page, and I'll see you on the next video. Thanks!